Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, and welcome back to Colts KRC. Quick video, well, I don't know how quick it's going to be, but a quickish video today. So, I've got a lot of questions asked on this. And the main one I've been getting is, which one would you rather have? Which ones are better out of these two? That's a really difficult question to answer. So I thought I'd do a quick video to get my opinion across. And it is my opinion. If you buy, let's, there's two ways of looking at this. If you already own a, a drone and you're looking to buy this as your second drone or the one you just want to leave in the car, maybe or stick it in your pocket when you go out, yeah, fine. If you're looking at buying it for your first drone, let's have a look at it that way. So you, you own neither, and this is your one and only drone. So what you have to compare is obviously with this one you've got fantastic size. It's tiny, it's dead light as we all know, and this one obviously is quite a bit bigger. Both obviously foldable drones. This one has... Fold it out, look at, the difference is huge. So the massively difference in size, it's massive. And because of the size difference, this is better in the wind. There's no doubt about this. I've seen other videos of this in the wind, and the footage looks stable because the gimbal's doing a great job. But do I feel like I'm confident of it in the wind? No, and that's because of coming when you're flying back through the wind. Because of its weight and because of these tiny little motors, it struggles to get back in wind. That's, I'm not saying that's a major issue, it isn't. You've just got to be careful where and when you fly this thing, in my opinion. I don't think this was ever designed to fly through 20 mile an hour winds. This has got 4K, this hasn't. So we're going to dismiss the 4K thing totally. We're going to look at them both. They both have had two 2.7K cameras. The app, in my opinion, is far better on this than it is on this. If this had the Go um, 4 app, wouldn't be a contest but it hasn't and because of that you've not got the settings so everything's set on auto on this so your filming set on auto at the minute whether they change that moving forward they bring ND filters out for this I don't know if they do bring an ND filter out how will this gimbal cope with it because these things have tolerances built into them obviously the gimbal has a tolerance of what it'll level at if you put another two grams on the front will it still be good You'd think that DJI have probably implemented that already, but have they? Because this thing's made for 249 grams. With this one, you can adjust your settings, so you can adjust your white balance and everything like that. I've obviously had issues with this, as, as you well know if you watch my channel. And I'm not even going to count that in because of the fact that I'm now thinking, because this thing flies totally different than my first one, and it can't just be a firmware update, that I had issues with mine from the word go. So I'm going to dismiss that and I'm going to take this on the value that I flew this the other day. So you've, you've probably seen some, a video that I did this about a week ago. I only flew it for the second time. So I'm going to use that as comparison. So this thing flies amazing because it's DJI and it does fly better. There's no doubt about the fact that this flies better in the air than this does. This is much smoother. We're talking in, we're talking in uh, four or five mile an hour wind when I did the second flight that you'll have seen. This thing flies better. It flies like a DJI. It flies like a Mavic. And this one doesn't, of course. And, but it flies a lot better than it ever did. I told you this wasn't easy to answer. I can't just come out and say to you, yeah, buy this or this. Because they're totally different to me. The price point's the same, and that's the important thing. I'm going to show you some video footage at the end of this. And unfortunately, I can't fly in the... The UK has been horrendous for about a month now. So the video footage I'm going to show you is the video footage I took from this the other day and some I did from this a couple of weeks ago in a similar kind of weather, but in a different area. So it's going to be very different for to pair. The only thing you can look at in these videos is the clarity of image at 2.7K. Because I'm going to use 2.7K footage I recorded of this and this. I'll upload the video in 2.7K. So you can see the differences. And there isn't that much, in my opinion. <clears throat> I own both, and I'll keep both. But I know a lot of you out there just buying this as your, your first drone. So if you're buying it as your first drone, it's a very difficult one to answer. I think this is great. I think I had issues with mine at first. There's a few things I don't like about it. Um, but overall, it's decent for the money. You, you can pick it up all day long for the same price as this. Um, batteries are expensive for this, 
that will tell you that because it's got smart batteries and of course this one runs on lithium ions that have a kind of smart feature but are not fully smart if you know what I mean so you've got to take that into account you've got to take into account the amount the cost of accessories for both of these if you want two batteries it's going to cost you more flight time very very similar range is in my opinion better on this I was absolutely stunned at the range on this thing through the ex, ex, well whatever they call it extended Wi-Fi do they call it I think it's brilliant I think that's one of the best things about this Build quality, this kills it, I don't think this is a great, great, this thing looks great, don't get me wrong, the look and fit and finish of this is fantastic, I just don't like the cheap flimsy plastic it's made from, this thing's quite a solid lump, um, hopefully I won't find out by crashing it, but it's a solid lump, neither of them have sensors, they've both got the same, similar thing underneath, both got ultrasonics and sonic sensors, and in the air, in stable hover, this thing better. As I was say, I, I don't know. If I was probably saying to someone, as your first ever camera drone, I don't think anybody should buy these as the first drones. I've said it loads of times in videos, I think you should buy a non altitude hull drone, a cheap, nasty toy one, and play with it till you break it. Because it's going to learn you a couple of things. If it's a cheap toy drone, it's going to you're going to learn how to fly that thing because it's never going to be that stable. But you're going to learn throttle control. You're going to know what to do in a, in an emergency. So if you lose GPS and you've no GPS, these things aren't as easy to fly. Because let's be fair, when you fly a GPS drone like this, you push it around the air. You don't actually fly it. So I think that's what you should do. But if that's what you want to do, and you want to get straight into a camera drone, the choice is yours. If you live in a country where there's very little wind, let's put it that way, I'd probably go for this. If you live in the UK, I might go for this. I think that's the best way of describing it. It depends where you live. If you've got somewhere where it's great weather, uh, great weather all the time, this is going to be amazing. If you've got somewhere like you live in the UK where it's constantly like it is now, we're in a, it's bad at the minute, there's a lot of rain about a lot of wind, then I'd probably rather go for this. Um, DJ have a better backup? I think, than these do. These, I had problems with this customer service and I know other people have had problems with customer service have not even had quest, uh, answers given when they've asked questions about the FEMA 3 issues. So I'd probably say that the customer service is better than the DJI. I don't want to test that out, but I imagine that's going to be the case. So very much is down to personal preference. I think, I, I did a review of this and people have said it's harsh, I don't see why my review said it was harsh, I never said this for the bad drone, I said this for the decent drone, with de I think it's got a decent camera, it's decent, it's not outstanding, the app, in my opinion, awful, uh, I like, do like the way it gives you the full screen, but apart from that, awful, you can't read things on the screen because I wrote in white against your white sky, I just don't like the app, uh, and I think it's a obviously build quality. With this one I obviously have had issues so you've got to bear that in mind a little bit. Uh, although other people love the controller where you expand it and put the battery in I think it's one of its weak points and I think they made this too big. I don't think it needs to be as big and heavy as it is and that's probably because of all the aluminium at the bottom of here but I don't think they need to make, made, didn't need to make this as heavy as it was. So, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to show you some video footage. Please remember, these were filmed at different times. So don't comment saying, you can't smell a fair comparison because they're not flown at the same place at the same time. No, I can't do that because the weather's bad. But what you should do is look at the clarity of the image and you'd make your mind up then. And I hope this will help answer the questions. I can't just say to you definitively, yeah, this is better than this because it depends largely on where you live, what you want out of it. If you want a 4K drone, you buy this one. This one's not got... 4K, will it ever have 4K? No. DJI are never going to implement loads more features I wouldn't imagine on this drone. And there's a simple reason why. They still make the Mavic Air. The more they put into this, the less sales of the Mavic Air they're ever going to get. They've still got Mavic Airs for sale and the have got a huge stock of the things. So the more they put into this, the less likely they are to sell the Mavic Air. And it, it's cop business sense. I wouldn't do it if I owned DJI. Why would you? There's loads of other stuff coming out. DJI have got some competition on the hand because now they've announced with the Skydio, which looks um, Skydio 2, which looks amazing, and now they've uh, announced the Altel Evo 2 yesterday. That's going to come out at some point, and that looks amazing. 900 megahertz um, instead of 2.4 gives you this 16 mile range distance. The 16 mile range different distances 
irrelevant on the battery that'll do 34 minutes because you ain't going to get them back quick enough but it's still got the range DJI are going to sit on the back side I'd imagine the Mavic 3 will have interchangeable lenses and I'd be very shocked if it doesn't also run on a cross fire type system because that's the way things are going to go so hope this has helped please like in the comment if you like it if you don't like please hit give me a thumbs down but by all means tell me why you didn't like the video if you haven't subscribed please do so and last of all, of course, have a fantastic day.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up